Welcome to my channel. This is Team Swishnik, and we are going to be playing some Expanded with Mew 3 Box. So this is a toolbox style deck that uses Mewtwo and Mew GX. This perfection ability allows you to use the attacks of any Pokemon GX or EX on your bench or in your discard pile. So it basically has a bunch of tools for all different kinds of situations. It's a pretty interesting deck, it has a lot of moving pieces. It's a lot of fun, and I am very inexperienced with it, so watch me struggle through some matches. Bear with me, I've, I've only played this deck like once or twice. I just put it together. Clay Dow, is this a control deck? This is probably a control deck. I'll take the mulligans. So this deck's a pretty neat one. We are trying to battle compressor to put a bunch of cards into the graveyard and kind of have like a, a toolkit. Uh, we are we are light on energy right now. But other than that, I really like where this hand is starting. I'm going to be able to go get a Dedenne GX to discard my whole hand. I have a Dimension Valley, a Battle Compressor. Now this looks like... It may take a while to get these, because a lot of single prize Pokemon is not ideal for this kind of a deck. Uh, I think I'm going to start out with Battle Compressor, because I want to see what we're working with first. Um, I believe... Come on, let me zoom. Okay, it's not letting me zoom. So we want Giratina. Item locks, probably not bad. That probably means we want the M Guard of R so we can keep or, uh, discarding our cards off of our bench. Well, we only have two stadiums live right now. And we've prized zero energy. So I think we're good with this. I'm going to start out with discard these guys. And we're going to go get the Dedenne. I think I'm going to play a second Mewtwo. Oh, we want to play our Stadium first and then discard our hand. All right, so we found we found an energy. And I don't think we want to discard. I think yeah, because this lets us go get VS Seeker. VS Seeker lets us go get Professor's Research. And then I think we're going to hold here and we're going to distort so that our opponent can't play any items. Does that also get a knockout? It does not. I think that's fine. Or do we just take a knockout? I think taking a knockout's better. Oh, I accidentally clicked that one. I don't know if it really matters here. I think I think either way we're in a pretty good spot. Because they probably play the f not fighting Fury Belt, the Focus Sash. And Focus Sash, with these guys having damage counters on them, is probably ideal for us. That's unfortunate. I didn't. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have played the Stealthy Hood on here because Floatstone could have let me retreat that. Um, we're going to clear out our deck quite a bit, get rid of almost all these Pokemon. I 
and then we'll get rid of the last battle compressor. Do we have a Guzma? I don't think we have access to a Guzma yet. Yeah, we're gonna grab a Guzma. Probably special charge. We can shuffle back that one energy. And then we're gonna put Dedenne in. It's probably worth it to just get that on there. That ain't bad, that ain't bad. And I think we just wanna keep trying to item lock. Yeah, yeah, because if we do this, we're gonna have a float stone in the active, so we're gonna be able to retreat. So even if they get this thing back active and they confuse this guy, we can retreat into here and then despair ray for the knockout. And we can get rid of this Giratina. I'm not really sure what my opponent's playing. Is there a third evolution stage to this guy? Because, like, this can't be the big hit. I guess it could. Okay, so I did not expect him to just leave our guy alive. We're going to Giovanni's Exile, get rid of two Pokemon from our bench. And Giratina. Hmm. Do we have any three damage or three mana energy attacks we would like to use? I don't believe so. Yeah, I think we just want to keep item locking. I would like to clear this, but I don't I don't think drawing cards at this point is really that important. We can get double knockout. I think this is probably not bad. Oh, fuck. I can't do math. <laughs> All right. That was kind of a waste. But never fear. Never fear. We're still in this. I think our best, our opponent's best play, oh, they're going to be able to do 200. 280? Okay, there's 20. There's 30. 50. Oh, that's kind of cool. You know, reading, reading's really hard. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't really know if we want anything. Okay, we have a rescue stretcher. Unfortunately, I've put myself in kind of a bind. We're going to get rid of these. So we only have the rescue stretcher is the only way to get back our last our last Mewtwo and Mew. So I am going to do this. And then we're gonna distort, make them not play any items. Counter stadium's good. Teammates probably means they're getting a knockout on us. Maybe not. I don't know what two cards they can get that'll actually get a knockout. This is one of my favorite things about Expanded. Like, you just get to play against everything. It's always, it's always something new and exciting. We do not have a Guzma. And I'm not going to cast that because I 
do not want to go to one card left in my deck. I was going to say, or do I, but I, I don't. I think I want to get rid of everything. That's probably aggressive. Now the guillotine is good. Does he have the other energy? The old ball toy. Okay, okay. It's pretty good. So we want to pick up Mewtwo and Mew. Put this here. Put an energy. And distortion door. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> I love confusion. <laughs> I love just going for it. You know, the stadium. Okay. This game's looking pretty good for us. They have to get two energies on here to actually do any damage to us. Oh, oh that's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we lost, but they took their own knockout. That was a sweet deck. Oh? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Did we tie? No, we didn't tie. They only, they still have one prize left. All right, so we're going to do math correctly this time. And now, when I promise you guys we're going to do math correctly, I'm probably lying, but I'm going to do my best. We want to go for Mewtwo and Mew. Yep, because we're going to discard our whole hand, but we're going to start out... Energy... Battle Compressor. Um, we're gonna want Distortion Door, Giratina, and Dedene. And now I'm only putting Dedene in the discard pile because I want to pick it up with Rescue Stretcher because I'm gonna end up discarding my hand anyways because I have a research. So I would like I would like to use my Dedene first. Because I have more access to Professor Sycamore's than I do to Dedenne's. And I only have the one copy of Rescue Stretcher, so I'd rather use it and not waste it. Oh man, I have N. They're about to get absolutely manhandled. Oz is good. I think we just discard these. I think I just fail. Yeah, I'm just going to fail this. Um, I think this is where we end. I'll, I'll get rid of this just because I don't want it. And then we're going to use Despair Ray. We're going to get rid of these two. Because we don't want them to be able to Goose lock any of our guys. 
Hell yeah. Here against Ultra Necrozma. This is a pretty good matchup. Um, they have to set up a... They have to shut off our abilities to win this matchup. That is their goal, so it's probably not the worst plan. But we can completely lock them out with Flash Ray. And Noivern GX does very well against them. So we're going to start out with get rid of Noivern. I think we're okay with... Because we're going to be discarding our whole hand. Which slightly sucks because I really like Field Blower in this matchup. I think we go get this guy. And then we discard that. We discard this one. Go get Mew3. Battle Compressor. We're going to go get Despair Ray. Guzma, and probably the other Sycamore. We don't want to really draw another one. And now ideally what we are looking to set up is we want to get... Ooh, good draws. We want to get a Stealthy Hood on this Mew3 so that we do not have... So that they do not discard our energy when they attack us. All right, sweet. And then we're going to be able to flash ray and just completely lock them out of the game. We just need to make sure that they don't get... Um, we just need to make sure that they don't... Fuck, words are hard right now. We just need to make sure that they don't shut off our abilities. Yeah, 110, that'll allow us to take a knockout, but we want to make sure we do this first. And I actually don't think that we care about the knockout right now. I think it's more important that we just distort so they don't play any items. Because them not playing any items shuts off them from being able to Garbo lock us. And now we just have to watch out for Stadium, and Stadium we can, we can counter that pretty easily. One of the biggest mistakes people play or people make with playing uh, in this format is that they try to go too fast because sometimes it's better to just play it slow. Like as long as you know that they're not going to win if you just keep item locking them. And like here we can dowsing machine, go pick up our dimension valley and counter stadium. Yeah, we're sitting pretty good right here. We also have this flash array if they do get a Pokemon set up and we're worried about them actually starting to attack us, we can just shut off their damage because this blocks all damage from basic Pokemon. Oh, or we just draw that. So we'll do this. And then I'm going to discard a bunch of Pokemon just to get them out of the deck. Uh, we can keep this one. And then item lock. I would love to draw Guzma next turn. Okay, they, they concede. All right, welcome back. We are playing another round of expanded PTCGO. We are playing with the Mew 3 box. We are going to go second because we won the coin flip. Not a bad hand. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this deck. My math is still horrible, so I'll probably fuck up my math quite a bit. Uh, Trubbish. It's probably... Oh. The old Trevnit. So this is an unfortunate side effect of playing on the ladder right now with new decks. 
my opponent is able to play a deck that's being banned. <laughs> uh, Milotic is going to be banned on November 27, I believe. So we have about 13 days left. This card's also getting banned. Shaman EX is about to leave. So this is probably going to be some pretty terrible, terrible gameplay. But we're going to do our best. We're going to see what we can do. Our opponent's deck is really freaking powerful, so... We actually might be able to do some pretty sweet shit right here. I'm kind of bummed our opponent actually attached their energy. Because we're, I mean, I am ideally going to set up the 50 damage to, to two creatures. Wait. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, submerge. Um, yeah, because unfortunately... And maybe... I don't know if, if damage counters count the same as damage. I feel like they should. Yeah, we'll go with... Probably... Yeah, these ones. No, I'll take item lock. Item lock card. Uh-oh. We prized it. That ain't good. Probably means we just go for this. This is the biggest damage card. Alright, let's see. Okay, okay. Damage counters are not the same as damage. Cool. And now we're just going to get rid of a bunch of Pokemon. Uh, probably this one. Sweet. Sweet. Alright, so. We got him. Take that, Bandek. Bandek. 